Good morning and welcome back to my channel and morning devotions. My name is Maggie. If this is your first time stopping by, I hope you decide to like and subscribe and click the notification bell and then come back and check out some of the other content I have on my channel. It is Thursday, March 14th. Our devotions are coming from the Bible Promise Book Devotional for Women, which of course it applies to anyone. And we are in week 11 of the year 2024. Our focus for week 11 is prayer part one and our uh, devotion today is entitled a word of hope. Our scripture comes from Jeremiah chapter 29 verses 12 through 13. Now this is after the part I always quote which is Jeremiah 29 11. I know the plans I have for you plans to prosper you not to harm you and to give you hope in a future. It says then you will call upon me and go and pray to me, and I will listen to you, and you will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. You pray to me, I will listen to you. He listens. When we seek him, we will find him when we search with all of our heart. I love that. All right, let's get into this. Have you ever felt like God is so very far away? I felt that. That every time you call on his name, your prayer falls on deaf ears? I felt that too. That your mistakes, your imperfections, your unlovable qualities have put miles and miles of distance between your heart and his? Here's a word of hope. Nothing can change the fact that you are his beloved child. Nothing. He loves you in all of your imperfection. Because of his boundless love, you can call on him at any time, day or night, and he will hear you. There are no miles of separation. No difficult travels are required to gain his ear. What can separate you from his love? Nothing. Neither death nor life, neither angel nor demon, Neither our fears for today, nor our worries about tomorrow, not even the powers of hell can separate us from God's love. Take that in. No power in the sky above or in the earth below. Indeed, nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is revealed in Christ Jesus our Lord. Look at Romans chapter 8 verses 38 through 39 out of the New Living Translation. There is no force on earth in the natural or the supernatural, in the spirit or in the physical that can ever separate us from the love of God. We have to seek him with all of our heart. And whatever lie the devil is trying to get you to come into agreement with, you've done too much, too many things, you've messed up too many times, you've gotten saved once before and fell back, and you know, whatever, whatever lie he's telling you that's making you feel you can't come to the Lord anymore, again and again and again. Don't listen to it. He's the liar and the father of all lies. Nothing can save you, can take you away from the love of God or keep you from it. Nothing. There's nothing. So I hope you're encouraged today by that word. I don't have a story to go with it. Just know. And I love how it mentions angels nor demons. I don't think anybody here <laughs> is uh, involved in the demonic or the occult, but that's one of the lies of the occult. Once you get connected with it, they tell you the only way you're leaving is if we kill you. And that's, I mean, they may try, but if you search God with your whole heart, with all sincerity and repent and, re and turn away from that, they can't touch you. Okay. God can deliver you from that. No power of hell can separate us from God's love. There's no power on this earth or in the heavens that can separate us from that. So take encouragement from that today. Let's pray. Father, we thank you 
We thank you for this encouragement and the fact and the knowledge that nothing, nothing, no force can ever separate us from your love. Thank you for that, O oh God. Nothing can keep us from you. Even when we feel so far away, we are so thankful, Father, because you are as close as the mention of your name. Help us to remember to cry out to you no matter how unworthy we feel because you are our refuge. You are our ever-present help in our time of trouble. Nothing can separate us from that, Father. Thank you for continuing to pursue us. Help us to turn to you and cry out to you for help, O oh God, in Jesus' name. Well, God bless you, and thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I hope you decide to like and, and subscribe. Click the notification bell. Come back and check out some of the other content I have on my channel. I have a, uh, it's another veteran coffee and scones today with my DAR chapter. That's going to be a, a fun little break in my day. Um, so I hope uh, you guys uh, have a wonderful Thursday. I'll be working out and doing Zumba tonight. I missed it last week, but um, I'm looking forward to it. So God bless you all and bye until next time.